So last month I was going through all of my credit card statements for the year and preparing for my taxes and I, I came across a credit card charge months ago for Kickstarter and it was like 60 bucks or something and I could not figure out, I couldn't remember, was I subscribed to Kickstarter? You know, I use Kickstarter to help su support my book. Thank you for all of you who supported that book. Um, but uh, I was like, what the heck is, why is Kickstarter charging me this money? And uh, so I logged into Kickstarter for the first time in a long time, and I realized that last summer I had backed a Kickstarter company, and uh, they charged me for it, and I hadn't seen it. So, and that was because I, you know, totally lost track of it. There was an email that was sent to me that I didn't didn't do, and the product was called Maker Uno, and so I, you know. Quickly wrote Maker Uno. I was like, "Oh shoot! I forgot to send you my address. Here it is. Send me, send me what I supported." And they sent me like a dozen of these Maker Uno boards. Now, a Maker Uno is based on the Arduino platform. And if you know me, you know I love teaching students and working with the Arduino platform. Uh, this is a name brand Arduino, costs about 30 bucks. It's a great little device, but you can get generic versions of them uh, a lot cheaper. But I was excited about this one because built into it are a bunch of uh, LEDs that are tied to the different pins, as is there's a button and there is a a speaker, like a little buzzer that can play music. And these are all things that I have my students wire into using a breadboard. So why would you want one built into the uh, Arduino itself? Well, it's it's a great way to just kind of test your code. Rather, and if, if something goes wrong, you have there's a better chance that the problem is with the code and not with the wiring. So this is a really great tool. It's also great for beginners. So you can focus just on the code and you get a sense of how the code works immediately. And once you're successful getting this thing to run, then uh, you can use a, a regular Arduino and wire it up and, and learn the wiring behind that. Some of the things I love about this is, is that the USB port is that USB micro. I mean, yeah, I guess I would prefer if it was USB-C, but uh, you can't get everything, and I assume that there's a cost involved with that. So micro's great because I just have more of those USB micro uh, connectors rather than that other USB connector that Arduinos use. What is this? We all call it the printer cable. But anyway, I've got a bunch of these, but uh, I've got even more of these micro connectors. So there's an advantage there. Um, it has the same... Well, almost the same exact footprint as a as a Arduino. They fit right on top of each other. So if you have uh, any hardware that fits right onto, like a hat that fits right onto the Arduino, it's going to fit. And the holes for the uh, the Maker Uno are the same in the same location as the holes on the, your standard Arduino. It's a little wider, and is it also? Yeah, it's just a little wider and maybe not exactly the same footprint. Like a little wider and maybe shorter. Although it's pretty darn close. Um, it doesn't have all of the features of an Arduino. Like it, you can't do a power in with that port, but you can still power in directly onto the GPIO pins. Uh, I went on Amazon and I saw that these are now available on Amazon for like a little over $10. So that's a great deal because you've got the Arduino and it works with, of course it works with the uh, Arduino IDE, the software that you use to program an Arduino, but it's got all of these other uh, lights and buttons and speakers attached to it. Okay, so let's see how it works. Um, I'm just gonna go with the basic blink sketch. So I'm gonna go to file, uh, blink, and here we've got high low for uh, you know one second. So when I compile it and tools, and I need to make sure that I've got the uh, I just use the Arduino Uno board, even though it's the Maker Uno, the the Uno board will just work. 
and then make sure you've got the correct USB port on my Mac. You need to select this USB serial uh, or, or any, any of the port that says USB on it. Yours might be a little different. Now I'm going to just compile the basic Blink code. It's done compiling and let me bring this in here. And then I'm gonna send this to the, Ar to the Arduino, the Maker Uno. And you can see that it's reading it and it's waiting. And it says it's done uploading. So this is a blink sketch that I've modified to um, alternate between pin number 12 and 13. And so you can see that uh, 13 is high, 12 is low, and then it switches uh, 13 low, 12 to high. Let's just make this a little more fun and make it uh, a shorter interval. So I'm gonna go from 1,000 milliseconds to 50 milliseconds, and then 50 milliseconds. And now I'm gonna send it, let's see what it does. And now you can see that it's flashing back and forth and back and forth. Am I in focus? Now let's, uh, let's send out, let's try out the, the speaker. So is it Piso, Piso? I don't know how to pronounce it. We can look it up. All right, so I'm gonna, examples. I'm gonna go to digital and then tone melody. Verify. Send it and I'm gonna put, the, put this right up to the Oh yeah, and you see that that first note is wrong. I'm gonna change that to C4 and instead of C3. That was an octave too low, so now I'm gonna send it again. Hey, shaving a haircut, two bits. Uh, I love this little thing. You should get one. Uh, I've got a link to that product in the description down below.